organized. So, uh, like a lot of people, <laughs> I got curious recently about this Timu website, Temu, uh, that has been promoted a lot recently online. Mainly I was curious because I heard from other diamond painters that they had offered um, some pretty reasonably priced diamond paintings, uh, mostly in the budget friendly size as far as like 30 by 30, 40 by 40. 40 by 40 sometimes 40 by 40 but usually from what I saw on the website they are um, around the 30 by 30 to 30 by 40 range uh, although here and there they do offer some bigger ones you just have to check the sizes that is one thing I'll start off saying right off the bat before you put anything in your cart and hit purchase as far as diamond paintings go check the sizing measurements on the listing don't just go by the picture in fact i would recommend you maybe unless you really like the image and you want to take the risk maybe don't buy anything that doesn't have a picture of what the actual drill field looks like and at the end of this video i'll show you something that uh, you should maybe look for because uh, i've been diamond painting almost three years now and there's a trick I've seen some diamond painting sellers use as far as to, like to show you what the drill field looks like. That is not actually what the drill field looks like. They just put like the resemblance of drills over the picture and it's not accurate. Um, the picture sh that shows what the drill field looks like should actually look something like this where you see the actual DMC codes and the squares and all that. But um, I'll put that at the end of the video and show you what I'm talking about. But this is my very first order from Timu. Uh, I think I've got two or three small orders, mostly diamond paintings. There's a couple little other non-diamond painting things I'll show in future videos. But I figured I'd do them kind of order by order as I get them and uh, show you what I got. I, I already did all the unboxing <laughs> pretty much because I figured I'd skip all of the rattling of the crinkly paper. You're probably, you've probably seen a million of these unboxings for everybody's Tamu hauls lately. So you probably know that it comes in a giant orange bag and it comes in the, mostly in the cellophane wrappings. Uh, I've gotten a few that have come in that sort of heavy plastic that like magazines and newspapers sometimes come in. But anyway, uh, before I get into that, in my very first order, this came, um, it says credit coupon for your friends. Uh, it says you have to download the app on your phone. When I did my ordering, I just did it on my desktop. I, I didn't actually download the app on my phone. I just, you know, went into my internet search app and then went to the Timu site that way. Um, and tried to search it, but I don't know. Like, I just, I didn't love how it felt to search the site, uh, because on my phone, because there's so much stuff that it, it seemed to slow down my phone and it does that on my desktop too, but not quite as bad. So, uh, up to you, maybe you have a better phone than I do, but if you want to use this code and it might work on the desktop too, I don't know. It just says to download the app on the instructions. So, experiment with it if you want but these are the codes i got on the back um let me see how i can do this if you want to freeze the screen and grab these it looks like it's 8875 free 8876 free and 8877 free uh, and see what you get i have no idea so that was in there and so i thought i'd start with this one uh, when I picked out all these diamond paintings that you're going to see over the few videos coming up, I tried to look for ones that I hadn't seen in a lot of other places. As I was looking through their inventory, I could be wrong, but the sense I get is that Tamu probably, these paintings they're offering are probably overstock from bigger um, diamond painting sellers. Uh, manufacturers, whatever, this, this is probably overstock that they wanted to get rid of, uh, as their new content is coming in. So they sell them to companies like Tamu and then Tamu sells them at a mass discount and gets everybody excited over them and gets the stock out of their way and makes money. <laughs> uh, cause a lot of what I've seen, I've seen in a dozen other places, but, uh, every so often I would spot one that I hadn't seen around before. And so that's, those are the ones I tried to pick up. Um, and obviously I would get ones that I was genuinely interested in. I'm not just buying content to make 
or I'm not just buying material to make content. So you might see some coming up that are maybe ones you've seen before. Um, but for the most part, I tried to find ones that caught my eye that I hadn't seen everywhere. So I'll start with this one because this is the one I was a little bit most concerned about because I think if I remember right, this one did not have an actual um, image of the drill field, which normally if I don't see an image of the drill field, I don't buy it. But I liked this image so much and it was only like three or four bucks. So I figured I'd take a risk on this one and I think it's going to come out okay. Uh, I can see enough of the detail completely undrilled that I think it's going to be all right. Okay, my phone shut off there for a second, so hopefully I can get that back. Um, so yeah, the image there is not quite easy to see. It does come with an inventory sheet on this one, so I'll see if I can get a little bit of a close-up of that one. It's still not a great image, but you can kind of get the idea. It's a um, dark-haired girl standing in between a ginkgo tree I think. The color palette is not super exciting. It's mostly um, you know browns, um, some a few pops of orange and um, it looks like some different shades of green but mostly browns and beige tones. Um, it's supposed to be sort of fall feeling. There's a little bit of pinks and reds in there. So yeah as far as pal palette goes, maybe not crazy, but I think it'll come out pretty. It'll be very muted. So yeah, I think that one will be okay. The next one I have is <laughs> what I call the Van Gogh parrot because you can see the swirly bits back here. I think that might actually be supposed to be a, um, some kind of flower, but it was reminiscent to me of like, you know, uh, Van Gogh Starry Night. Yeah, Van Gogh parrot. Uh, again, color palette, not... Um, you know, crazy or anything. It's pretty much what you'd expect if you've ever seen Starry Night painting or a blue parrot, like ever. <laughs> uh, there's some pops of blue, different shades of blue, a little bit of yellow. Ooh, there's like a kind of teal green in there. Um, so yeah, a little bits of bright color, but mostly different shades of blue, a little bit of brown. Uh, so that's what we're looking at. That one, I don't do, I'm pretty particular about what I do on a 30 by 30 or lower size because if you've been diamond painting a while, you know that there's a lot of companies that try to put massively detailed images into a 25 by 25 or 30 by 30. And we all know nine times out of 10, it's going to look like butt. So uh, I'm very careful about what I get in this size, but I figured, I think this one did have an image of the drill field and he looks pretty much as advertised. So I think he's going to come out perfectly fine. And then this is a special I hadn't seen before that um, is really simple. It's pretty much just the hat, the earring, and the dress that you drill with crystals. Uh, and the crystal palette's like some aqua, some, well, maybe if I do it other side, huh? Uh, yeah, so you got some aqua, some bright blue, some of that um, yellow-orange type, type color you see in a lot of specials, uh, some sort of spring green, and then these are the special specials. <laughs> these are the circular ones that are, this is sort of like a peachy type orange. Uh, I think that's going to go up in the hat here, and then there's some... Um, blue ones that I think are going to go in the hat band and then around the earring area. So that's what I got for my first order to hang out. Uh, I will insert what I was talking about with the what to look for when you're searching for diamond paintings um, just to you know make the most of your money and then after that uh, stay tuned for follow-up diamond painting orders from Tamu. Okay, so let's have a quick conversation about just tips on um, what to look for when you're searching for diamond paintings online. And I'm using Timu as an example, but really this is kind of what I do with any website I use where I'm looking for diamond painting canvases. Uh, I've seen a lot of hauls so far where people have ordered these canvases because they're cheap, because you see here this 
particular one I have and as, as an example is only $4.59 and more often than not they do free shipping on everything and people see stuff like that and they're like oh my god it's so cheap and they load up their cart and then when it shows up at their door they get it in front of them and they're like oh this doesn't look that good and then they admit that they mostly went off the picture so I thought I would mention kind of what I do when I look through these things because like I had mentioned earlier either in this video or one of my other ones that uh, I've been doing this particular craft for a while now and I've figured out a few things so here's what I look for to <laughs> make the most of my dollar and hopefully help you make the most of yours so over here on a sidebar uh, you'll whoops let me get back in here you'll generally see uh, examples of pictures so what to look for is uh, look for the one that has the measurements and a lot of times they'll just put the picture of you know you'll see the example picture here of what they're trying to sell and then they'll just use the same picture and put the measurements of the canvas and that's all you get if you see a listing like this it's up to you um, if you, my suggestion would be to look at what the measurements of the canvas are like this one if I can stay on here okay <laughs> all right so look at where the arrows are going this one said well okay let me look at the screen and hopefully get this on camera right because I'm looking at my phone and it's messing it up all right so look at this line here this line here and this line here indicates that this is the full canvas size so the whole canvas not the drill area which would be this the entire piece of canvas you're going to get here we go again is going to be 30 by 40 centimeters so likely your actual drill area is going to be around a 25 by 30 and if you look at the actual image what you're looking at in the drill field something with this much detail is likely not going to come out that clean in a 25 by 30. If her face was a little bit more of the canvas size, if it took up like maybe this much of the canvas and it had a little bit of the flowers in the background, you could maybe get away with a 25 by 30. But since her face is set back, uh, it's, it's likely not going to come out that clean in a 25 by 30, which is likely what this is going to be. And that's the only example they give of the canvas on this. The other thing you can hopefully look for is scroll down a little bit and see if anybody posted a picture of what the canvas they got look like that you can sometimes do that but a lot of these so far they don't include that so that's one thing to consider this is the uh parrot one I got that I showed I think it's in the first Timu video I did maybe the second I'm pretty sure it's in the first one uh I'm doing this after the fact of filming those so <laughs> um I can't remember exactly but this is the one I got this is one of the other things I wanted to show you guys that I mentioned in the video of when sellers try to use the grid pattern and make it look like they're showing you what the canvas look like so let me click on this you see that's not the actual canvas you don't see numbers symbols anything all you see is a whoops let me get in focus uh, all you see is a grid pattern, uh, a circular diamond shaped grid pattern put over the actual image. That is likely not what your canvas is going to look like. Uh, so beware of that. But I already showed you guys this one in the image in my haul because like I said, one of the things I considered is if you like the image enough, consider what the actual image is and since this is a 30 by 30 and here you can see it's the canvas itself is a 30 by 30 so likely your actual drill field is going to be a 25 by a 25. I've done these long enough I can kind of remember most of the measurements on a lot of these of what your actual drill field is going to be uh, but uh, what I mentioned previously with like the the girl in the roses if her head was closer this is what I was talking about you see his head uh, is up front for the most part of the canvas and then you just have a little bit of background around, around here if you have that you're likely going to be okay for the most part uh, as long as there's not too much detail on the face and also it it depends on what the actual image is as far as with this, uh, his eye is pretty simple. It's just a couple circles 
uh, his beak is just probably going to be 310. I don't remember exactly what it is, but um, the bulk of the detail in this one, oh, I just noticed there's a little bit of Starry Night actually down in here. Hadn't noticed that detail before. Anyway, uh, with all the swirly patterns and the feathers and that kind of thing, that sort of detail you can get away with it being a little bit messy or pixelated because there's not a lot of fine detail in it anyway. Um, in the other one with the girl and the roses, it's a more human face. There's going to be more structure to it. So the pixelation is going to be more obvious on smaller sizes. So that's something to consider. But yeah, when you're looking at these, if you see the grid diamond pattern, be wary of that. I'm not saying it won't come out, but consider the size of the canvas, consider the image you're looking at. Like if you get a big landscape, um, <laughs> like I, I saw one video where somebody had gotten like a farm scene where it was like a barn and a bunch of horses and trees and all that stuff in like this size, that's not going to work. Uh, you need something that's going to be sort of up front and center for it to work. Uh, so going on here, this is another one. Uh, if you close in on it, well, you can kind of, this one actually, I thought it was a grid. No, it is a grid pattern. I thought it was the detail at first, but no, I think this one does use the grid pattern, but in this case, it's a 30 by 40 and how close this is front and center, this one would probably come out fine if you wanted to take a risk on that. Um, the bulk of it is just rainbow colors. So there's not too much fine detail in this. That one would probably be fine. I just pulled up some examples here to go through. Uh, this one I just came across by accident. I was kind of surprised by this one. This is what an actual drill field image should look like where you can see the actual numbers and symbols and things. But I was kind of surprised by this one. This one shows, you can see here, the, what I was talking about as far as like canvas size as the outside measurement, that's what your actual full piece of canvas, the whole thing is going to be. But you see here, oh, out of focus again. <laughs> you see down here, 25 by 35. So that's what the actual drill field is. But I was kind of surprised for 25 by 35, that's actually decent. That's actually pretty clean. Now, it's not going to look as good as if it was a full true 30 by 40. You're going to get a lot more detail and say the skulls here um, and the actual house. But so so this one, it could probably look a little bit messy when you're done with it, but it'd probably be acceptable. I mean, at the end of the day, you just have to decide what you're OK with as far as detail. I'm just giving you some pointers on what to look like, what to look for so that your happiest as you can be at these prices. So that's something. Uh, this is another thing. Okay, so aquarium sea, undersea images, um, you gotta be very careful with these because yeah, people are gonna look at this and say, oh, $3.99, fantastic deal. But yeah, look at that, 30 by 40. Uh, I don't think this one had an example of oh. See, this is another thing to look for. If it just shows pasting area, it's not even going to show you what the drill field looks like. It's just going to say, this is how big it is. To me, this is not entirely helpful. Because um, as you saw in the other one, it could or could not work out in a lot of images. I would say, though, from the few years I've been doing this, I, you know, you look at this, your picture size, 25 by 35, that much detail it, it, yeah, that's not going to work out on a 25 30 by 35. I can almost guarantee that's going to look like butt. Yeah, uh, to me, that would not even be worth the $3.99 to bother with that one. I would say with aquarium scenes, um, underwater scenes, anything like that, I don't think it's offered on this site. But if you're looking at something like this, definitely try to go, if it's offered, try to go 40 by 50 or bigger to get at least halfway decent detail on something like that. Okay, this is another one, uh, 30 by 40. I think this one had the grid pattern, if I remember right. Is it? Uh, yeah, I think this one is grid pattern, not actual drill field, but this is another one where the main object is front and center and big enough that it would probably be decent as a 30 by 40. I don't see where there would be an issue with that one. So that's what I'm talking about as far as like 
30 by 40, making it up front and center. That's the kind of thing you want to look for. Sometimes high detail works out. It just depends on the printer. But yeah, that one's probably fine. But that's why uh, images of drill filled are important. It drives me crazy when I find these companies that <laughs> have the uh, the half a dozen pictures of what the original art looks like, like that, but don't show you what the drill filled looks like. Or I don't know, it feels like they try to hide it or something which just I find irritating. Uh, this is another one where they don't show you the drill pattern at all. They just show you the size. And this is another one where I would, I would not trust this because look, full canvas size, 30 by 40. So that means this part in here is gonna be 25 by 30, pretty much. I would not trust this much detail in a 20 by, by 30. Like you could make out that there's a face there, but you're not going to get nearly enough detail in this heart to make it like really impressive. So yeah, I would not personally recommend that one in that size. Um, this is one I bought. I, I think it's in an upcoming haul. I don't think I've filmed this one yet. Uh, this was a personal choice for me as far as like, it, I know it's probably going to be a little bit grainy. Um, I know some of the detail is going to be lost, but I liked the image enough. It's going to be close enough for me that I, I would be happy with it. So like I said, that's something you got to think about is personal choice. How much detail are you okay to lose in order to get a budget canvas? Is it enough detail that you'd be happy with it? Or is it, you know, do you really want a lot of detail in there if you do if you want every little bit of detail in there bigger is better um but again yeah personal choice this is another one i think this is grid pattern let me see yeah that's grid pattern you see you can get close to that you see it's just a bunch of circles over the main image that is not what your drill field is likely going to look like and also that's another one you can see the whole canvas is going to be 30 by 40 and you see how much detail is in that face yeah i i would be iffy about how much detail that was truly going to come out on 25 by 30. this is one i think is in this video i believe uh up front this is the one i said i don't remember it having a image of the drill field it did but if we get close to it it's the grid pattern not the actual drill field but as i showed you guys this one actually came out fine um i haven't drilled it yet so i don't know how much of the detail is truly going to come out but with this my thinking was it's mostly going to be the ginkgo tree in the background that doesn't have to be super detailed and her hair is messy her sweater doesn't have to have a lot of detail and as far as her face, it's an anime manga style face. Um, so there's some simple lines and her eyes are closed. So I don't have to worry about eye detail. Sorry, my dog's drinking water in the background. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, I figured with just like the simple lines of her nose and her mouth and her eyelashes, it was probably going to be fine at this size even if I didn't know exactly what the drill field was going to look like. So that's sort of my my thinking pattern when I look at these uh, canvases. A few more examples here. Uh, this is one I found that has another of the grid pattern. You can see it pretty clearly there. Uh, this one I'd be kind of on the fence about because you see again 30 by 40 full canvas, so 25 by 30 actual drill field this one there's not going to be detail on the face so you could probably get away with it in this part here with like her hair and her dress the smaller things though I would be a little bit iffy about um the butterflies here they're probably just going to look like pink v's in the background and then uh I would also be iffy about how much detail on this ship you're going to get like you could probably make out that it's like because of the scene you could probably guess that it's the ship but I don't know how much detail you would actually get on that um, with it being compressed into a 25 by 30 drill field also something else I noticed that I find odd in some of these listings um, if you look 
Okay, you see how this is all like you would figure this is going to be pinks and blues and grays, things like that. Do you see any of that in that color <laughs> palette? It's all like weird autumn colors. Um, so I've noticed that on a few listings where it's like the image they're using. I'm guessing they're probably taking the main image and just superimposing it on a, a canvas template. Uh, just to show you like the sizing and stuff. So that's something else to watch for. Um, don't just assume that's what your canvas is going to look like. This is another one I was going to show as an example. This one, there's no drill field listing, but this is another one. Uh, this is a Jasmine Beckett Griffith. I can tell by the style of uh, this. Uh, where was that one that showed? Where's the canvas one? Okay, so this one is another one where they just put the image again, not the actual drill field, but they gave you the measurements and you can see there full canvas 30 by 40. So drill field is going to be 25 by 30. I've done Jasmine Beckett Griffith buzz budget ones on like full 30 by 40s and they look decent. And by full 35, full 30 by 40s, I mean the actual drill field was 30 by 40. So the canvas would be 35 by 45. But because of her art style and as much fine detail as she tends to put around the face as far as like heavy eyelashes and coloring and things like that, like you can make out the face fine, but it's one that definitely gets a lot crisper and um, more nice as you go up in size. So if you're looking at that, and that's at a full 30 by 40, as I mentioned, by the way. So if you're looking at this one... um. It's not okay. There we go. Uh, since this one is likely going to be a 25 by 30, I wouldn't guarantee that it's going to look that great with as much detail. You know, it's got like, like with this, you can see it's got the blue willow pattern on the wings and the dragons and all that. It's like, I don't know. I wouldn't trust that one at that size. This is one I wanted to show as far as like here you get what a true drill field looks like, but let's go back to what the actual image looks like so you can get an idea of how much detail is actually in this as far as the folds in the angel's gown and the skirts and all that and the water back here and um, the kids' faces and all that. So you take all that into consideration and then this is a 25 by 35 and yeah, you can make out what it is, but you see how compressed the faces look and how much detail you lose. Um, it could still be nice, but it's definitely not going to look as crisp as if you went up in size. So this is another one where it's like, how much do you like the picture? How much detail are you willing to lose? But that's something to take into consideration and not just buy simply off of, you know, oh, it's a cheap price. This is another one uh, looking at the example. So you see uh, how much soft detail is in this. And then you go here and this one doesn't actually give measurements. It does tell you that the canvas is going to be 30 by 40 in the example, but you see how much detail of her face is gone now. It's just sort of like black blobs where her eyes are supposed to be. And the, um, let's go back up here. Um, Sorry, this is kind of hard to do one handed, but you see how much like wispiness uh, and prettiness is in the wings and the, the skirt and how it's just sort of blurred out when you get to that um, drill field area. And I'm guessing and this looks like the actual drill field because uh, you can see if I go close in, you can see the symbols and stuff. So I, judging from the fuzziness, I'm guessing this is a 25 by 35 style drill field. Uh, and again, this is another one where, whoops, <laughs> um, you can make out what it is. You, you can probably make out that there's a face there, but how much detail are you willing to lose? Um, just again, something to consider. This is one I wanted to show because they don't have an actual image of the drill field other than this, you know, sort of um, 
deceptive grid pattern thing I was talking about. But I have actually seen other sellers that have done this 30 by 40 one, this particular image in the 30 by 40 um, canvas size, so 25 by 35 drill field. And I can tell you from looking at it from other sellers, the drill field examples, p sellers I've seen that have actually shown what the true drill field looks like, it does not look like this, it does not look this clean. So I can tell you up front, um, it's, yeah, it's not going to look this nice <laughs> on that particular one. Um, this is one I actually bought. Uh, this is an actual 20 by 20 and you can see the drill field there. But this is one, obviously, I didn't have a problem buying because the pattern is so simple. Um, and I bought it because I have two black cats. And one of them very much resembles this guy. Uh, but you look at this and it's basically, it's basically just like the outline of the neck and head and some circles for his eyes and then some yellow in the background. So this kind of thing, perfectly fine to get in a 20 by 20 shouldn't have any issue with this coming out really clean and cute and adorable. I haven't seen what mine looks like yet. I think it's still in the mail, but I can't imagine I'm going to be disappointed with it. So I would probably recommend this one and for $1.29, yeah, snatch that one up. And this is one, another one I wanted to show you what a uh, 25, a 30, 25 by 35 tends to look like. And what I'm talking about when I say consider detail. So that's the actual image they're advertising. And there's, I mean, look how tiny all those religious figures are. I can't imagine, I would say even in a 40 by 50, you could probably lose a fair bit of detail in how tiny a lot of those background figures are. Like the Virgin Mary probably come out fine. Mother Mary, um, but a lot of the people even on a, a bigger size, you can sometimes lose detail when it's that small. So <laughs> when I saw that this canvas was being offered, see 25 by 35 drill field, look what that looks like. Like poor Jesus up there, just like a shadow of himself. And then you see <laughs> how melted the face on Mary looks. Um, yeah. So, and you see 379 like yeah that looks like it was printed at a 379 price uh, so yeah I highly recommend taking a little bit of extra time seeing if they have the drill filled images the true drill filled images which would look like this like the actual squares or symbols or something are actually visible in the example picture not the deceptive grid pattern I've been showing you guys uh, this is another one, uh, 30 by 40 canvas size, it looks like. Um, this one, they don't even show you the canvas. They just say of oh, 30 by 40, which even if it was a true 30 by 40, as small as the detail is on some of this stuff, I don't know if I would trust it even as a true 30 by 40 as far as like the entire canvas being 30 by 40 or entire drill field being 30 by 40. Like the skull would probably come out fine, but I think the window in the background and the detail on the dragon face would likely um, be a little bit grainy. And I, I don't know, I'm a little bit iffy if the spider webs would even come out that well. So yeah, it bugs me when they do this where they're just like, oh, yep, that's what you're going to get. I'm like, that's not helpful. <laughs> um, I think I had one more here to show you guys. Okay, this is another one. I want to show you guys this one because this one shows you a really good idea of what the deceptive grid pattern looks like. Okay, let me get close up. Okay, look at that. There's no symbols on there. It's just a, a grid overlay over the picture. So yeah, that is likely not what your actual drill field is going to look like. And also if you come down here, Again, they show you 30 by 40 canvas, so likely 25 by 35 drill field. And if you look at something like this, there's no way that text is going to come out. Um, and her face, as small as her face is under the hat, that's probably not going to come out. 
Um, you're probably going to get shadows where you can tell where something like a face should be. But yeah, um, this text in the background, you might get the madam out of it, but the rest of the script in the back, that's likely not going to come out. Um, some of this other stuff you could probably get away with, like her shawl is kind of wispy looking flower petals. You can, they're, they're pretty forgiving a lot of times in uh, diamond painting, but when it comes to faces and stuff, uh, yeah, wouldn't trust something like that. So yeah, that's just something I wanted to uh, point out to you guys since I've seen quite a few <laughs> uh, team of diamond painting hauls where people have been like, that's not what I ordered at all. I'm like, well, it kind of is. Um, if, if you didn't take the time to look at the actual listings and you just went by price and pretty picture, you pretty much got what you paid for. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just wanted to give you guys some tips on uh, things I look for to help not be disappointed on budget canvases. So hope this helps. See you in the next video.